Hey guys, this is Diane. Oh, look at these puppy dogs. I'm starting my walk around the block and I get to go by these beautiful puppies first. Hi guys, I remember you from yesterday, hi. Oh, could you be any sweeter? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thanks for letting me say hi again. Bye guys. Those are my little doggy friends. One of our neighbors walks their dogs around the same time I tend to go walking a lot of the time. This is my little neighborhood. I like this house here. I like those kind of little cabiny houses. Ooh, somebody's practicing their piano. It sounds like a Suzuki a piano lesson. Can you hear that? Oh no, that's not piano, that's a horn. And it's not Suzuki. So everything I said was incorrect. <laughs> oh, and there's a puppy dog, ever so sweet. It is um, an hour, let's see, an hour earlier here than for you guys in Oregon. Oh, and look at that precious pie. So, this is kind of fun. This is, this house is right in front of me. You can't see it that well yet, but anyways, that house is the house of Tony Knowles, who was Anchorage of Mayor when I moved here and later became governor. So, oh, and there he is. There's Tony right there, pulling up in his, looks like a CRV, oh yeah. Miss Honda, that would be our former governor. <laughs> Can you believe it? And this bigger house here belongs to one of the federal judges who was chief judge and my boss for seven years. I loved him. He was so great. He was such a great boss. And this house right here belongs to or belonged to a man named Bill Allen who was um, went to federal prison on corruption charges. He got caught bribing a whole bunch of members of our legislature, um, state and perhaps federal, but we're not sure if he, um, the federal folks never got indicted. The state um, legislators did get indicted along with Bill Allen. Yana tried to bribe him one Halloween. That's a whole different story. Because we were trick-or-treating around the same time that um, the corruption trial was occurring in Anchorage. So she thought it would be funny, but she actually changed her mind at the last minute. So some people have bought these, um, these lots and built really big old things on them, which I mean, some of them are nice, but I like the little, the little ones that have stayed and we kept ours um, small. We did not increase the size of our house at all. And I'm happy about that, I like it. I like to keep some of the downtown cottages just the way they were to begin with. But along here, you're not seeing the downtown cottages so much. People bought the land up and built condos or apartments or something because it's so close into the downtown shops and restaurants that they can make a lot of money out of, I guess. Anyways, this is another one. This went up just this last summer and it was another um, lot with just a little cottage thingy on it. And this, I like it, but not for this neighborhood. It's just my opinion, I like these little cottages better like what we've got. Oh, we're gonna get to see the puppy dogs again. And I just do like them so much. <laughs> this poor guy. Hi, you guys. <laughs> oh, hello. I know, I know, it's just delightful. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> I'm almost home. I just gotta go around the block again. I mean, just around this last part. 
one of our neighbors here, it's kind of kitty corner to us through the back. We, <laughs> they wonder what the heck we are doing because we are out there taking pictures of what it looked like we were taking pictures of their house one day and I think they got kind of nervous about us and we were actually taking pictures of their fence because we decided we wanted to build a similar one which we did and here's ours right in, right in, hi. Hi. Right in back of the guy that I just said hi to and we've been looking all over town taking pictures of people's fences and realized that the one that we really liked was right by our house and they were really happy because they kind of look at it through one of their one of the sides of their house and they appreciated that we got a fence that was like theirs because obviously they like the fence too oh there's a really little house there it's almost like it's a rental i don't know it's almost it's really like low to the ground can't figure that out these neighbors it turned out know one of my friends from high school Wendell, you know rick harder one of the guys that lives there was one of Rick's best friends in um, high school before he moved to Reedsport. And now I'm back at our house. Thank you for going on this little walk with me, you guys. Bye-bye.